evidence.dev. I'm taking a look at this tool called evidence. Uh, what is its purpose uh, and what is its place among all the other BI tools? So I think the best way would be to summarize this before we get into uh, details is that you want to create a report, but a report is composed out of both text and the uh, values and graphs. Um, so there are some uh, business intelligence BI tools such as superset and graphs, but then they lack a little bit of reporting styles, meaning they have some squares, some boxes, some boxes have graphs, some boxes have text, but it's not more streamlined. Then on the other hand, you have uh, Jupyter Notebooks, but where you can really integrate both text and, and graphs, but it's more of a notebook. Then you have some exporters for these notebooks. But you see the, the, the gap that, that is left the gift is I want to create a standard report I want to embed both text graphs I want it to look like a report I want to be able to send it by mail and I want someone to open this and to read this as a report maybe a weekly report or something like this and I want to use markdown for this and to embed the numbers and the graphs as, as I like and it's not just a notebook it's not just some research or something so I think it's it's going into this gap but let's actually see this so business intelligence as code evidence is an open source this is also important this means you can install it and use it I think probably mostly for free code based alternative to drag and drop BI tools so in BI tools you, you create sometimes it's not uh, infrastructure as code sometimes you drag and drop um, in mainly in cloud uh, solutions so here you have everything is code build polished data products with just SQL and Markdown okay just SQL and Markdown this is super important because think those are the languages of the reporting so on the example that they provide uh, we see that we have a report with a markdown. The report has some header. The header has a title, business polls, business polls, and the sources is daily, daily.sql. Then we have, it's like a blog post. The markdown really looks like a blog post. Yes, there's the KPIs, MR growth, and then we have some tags for the uh, from the daily report with curly brace, braces, column, MMR, growth, PCT. And then uh, we also have some uh, tags for a bar chart and it has some X date and Y new accounts. And on the right side, we see a really nice report that was formatted with this markdown. Business pulse yesterday, KPIs, MMR, growth, 2.3.2% and new net accounts. And this looks good. I mean, yeah. So the markdown report looks good and in this side is we embed some references to SQL. So data professionals, uh, okay, marketerial, some marketerial data professionals love evidence, a code-driven workflow for businesses, intelligence, write reports in markdown. Evidence uses a lightweight syntax which combines markdown, SQL, and data visualization components. Add publication quality graphs. Choose from evidence growing library of data visualization and UI components to build your own. Dynamically generate pages from your data. Generate thousands of pages using a single markdown template, a page for every customer, supplier, region, whatever your organization needs. Check your entire BI layer into Git. Manage your workflow and team collaboration in GitHub and GitLab because it's just markdown. CICD, deploy to production. Evidence publishes your project a static site with all queries and pages pre-built and checks for errors every time it deploys. Reports designed for high engagement. Context rich report. Evidence gives you space to explain your point of view and answer your audience questions before they ask them. Okay, some are criteria, but in general, it's nice that, that you just write a markdown, 
point to some SQLs and have some charts and it looks good. I mean, the end results looks good. Uh, we have um, when in the markdown, we have some headers, then we have them as headers also in the report. And it's really what I would expect to receive and to see in a website in, in a, like a snapshot of a report of something. Instant page loads. Most BI tools are unbearably slow evidence pre-builds all queries and pages, so your users never have to wait. User experience. A format your audience already knows how to use. Stop spending so much time on BI training. It's just a document. MIT licensed. Works with your data stack. Evidence is easy to integrate into the toolset self-hosted on, oh, self on an evidence cloud where they probably monetize it. Trusted by data leaders, used by teams at Quip, Jingo, Zitcha, Krexi, and more. That's it. Let, let's just click maybe the get started so we'll see some more details about this. Okay, install evidence, VS Code extension, install evidence from VS Code Marketplace, open the command palette, new evidence project, kill, click start evidence. So they have a VS Code extension. Next is the syntax markdown. It extends the markdown. So on one hand you have markdown, the other hand you have some properties like title, the title of the, the title of the the report, SQL markdown code fences evidence to run SQL. So you run SQL, you have SQL in the report in the markdown that would run. Components. Evidence has a built-in component library to create charts and other visual elements. So in the markdown you have line charts and it connects to, but where's the connection to the database I want to say? Let's click on data sources. So data sources. Evidence supports connecting to a database or local data files. Connect your data to connect your local development environment to the database. Run evidence. NPM run dev. Then they have many data sources. Oh, they have really a lot. BigQuery, Snowflake, Redshift, Postgres, Trino, Microsoft SQL Server, SQLite. Yeah. When adding again, you, so you, you connect to your data. If it's BigQuery, then evidence supports connecting to Google BigQuery by using Gcloud CLI service account and JSON key on or off. Login in with Gcloud CLI. Then you have the SQL queries. Evidence runs markdown code fences as SQL queries. We saw this. Let's see which component they have. Compared overview. So they have a bar chart. They have single values as text. They have charts. They have. Yeah, it looks enough. I mean. And they have uh, value formatting loops. So overall, this looks good. I mean, if you want to create a report, I think a snapshot report or something, or even local report that you want to create for yourself, then this looks like a good tool again. Evidence.dev, I think it fills in some gap. I think there is a lot of room to go here, really huge space here. And we'll see about this.